Welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. I'm Angel B. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, in today's video, you guys, we are doing book bags, okay? It is back to school time, and I don't know about anybody else's kids, but mine want everything custom made, okay? They know that I know how to make shirts and book bags and literally all of the things. So my kids are constantly asking me for customized and personalized items okay so in today's video we are going to be doing these book bags now these are very 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 heavy duty very good book bags okay here is what they look like y'all look at this look at the color okay 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 but the cool thing about it is that these this cover is velcro so they come off this is the book bag this is the cover they're a velcro cover so let's say in the middle of the school year your kid decides he wants a different cover or maybe it gets ruined or they spill something on it you don't have to replace the whole book bag the website that i got these from the young lady that i got these from she does sell just the inserts as well i will have these book bags linked in the description box below i will have the website there um and like i said you can purchase the book bags the full book bag with everything or if you need a replacement cover you can just purchase the cover as well okay so make sure you check the description box you guys my materials for everything i'm using in this video including the printer the ink the paper everything that will also be linked down below as well so make sure you guys are checking there okay but yeah this is what we're doing today guys so definitely go ahead and stick around for that all right guys, so I'm on my laptop here and we are in Canva Pro. I'm going to quickly show you how I made these images. Um, they're super quick, super simple. So these are the two images that I'm gonna be sublimating today. Well, this one I already sublimated for, you know, like TikTok and Instagram, but this is the one we're gonna be sublimating today, okay? So basically all I did was I got these two images, the Optimus Prime and the Flash. I just got them from Google. So because I'm making these for my kids and I'm not selling them, then I can't go ahead and use the images off of Google. Now, if you're gonna use an image off of Google and sell it, Please just be careful when you're doing that. Um, you know, it may not always be 100% legal to do that. So definitely just check the laws in your state and, you know, just be careful. But because I'm using these for personal use, this is for, these are for my kids. I went ahead and I got these images off of Google, okay? I got Flash um, and then I got Optimus Prime. So I'm going to go ahead and add a page here. And then just so we can start from scratch, I'm going to go ahead and turn it white. So when you have a brand new page, this is what it's going to look like. Now, the size that I'm using right now is actually 11 by 17. So I am using, matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to start from complete scratch so I can show you. So this is going to be what your, you know, your um, homepage looks like. We're going to go up to create a design and then we're going to go down here to custom size. Now I am going to be printing on a 13 by 19 paper. So in this part, you would put in whatever paper that you are going to be using. Okay. Whatever size paper. So I'm going 13 by 19 and then we're going to create a new design. Originally, I was going to use 11 by 17 because for whatever reason, I couldn't get my printer to print. And 13 by 19 but I, I figured it out so I got my printer printing in, in 13 by 19 now so I'm gonna go ahead and change my size so we have a 13 by 19 canvas here okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to uploads which is where my images are and I'm going to go ahead and upload so here is the flash image that we're going to be using. Um, it is a circular flash image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set image as background. Now, as you can see, I still got these white corners here. So I need to stretch it out just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is double click. And there we go. If you double click, if you double left click twice, it'll, you know, let you um, be able to drag it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag the corners out because like I said, I need it to, I don't want to see those white corners. 
So just enough to where I don't see the white corners, but I'm not necessarily dragging the image too much. So that looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the picture and I'm gonna go up to edit photo and then I'm gonna go over to adjust and then I'm gonna do an auto adjust on the whole image um, just because it is from Google and I wanna make sure it's in the highest resolution or the best quality it can be. And as you can see, you know, it went ahead and adjusted. So the picture actually looks a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that how it is. The next thing we're gonna do is go up to elements. I'm just gonna add in his name and his grade. And I'm gonna go to lines and shapes and I'm just gonna get this square box. Um, and that's all I'm gonna use is a square and we're just gonna drag it out to cover the whole image. And this is where his name is gonna go. So I believe I had this black. And then I'm gonna get text. We're gonna add a subheading here. And then I'm gonna type, no, actually I'm gonna change the font to, I'm gonna use university. I got this font from a uh, Creative Fabrica and it came with my membership. I'll leave a link down below if you don't have a membership to Creative Fabrica, it's about $19 a month. Um, but yeah, that's where I got this university font. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Clarence, press enter, and then I'm gonna type in first, grade. All right, and then we are gonna go ahead and stretch this out. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, because this box, this black box here with the name, it just, I feel like it needs a little bit of separation from the box in the picture. So what I'm gonna do is go up to elements and then I'm gonna add in, it's like a, a gold border. I believe, oops, I did not type that right, gold border. And then this is it right here. So this is a pro element. It's just kind of like a gold. That's not the one I wanted. Um, It's like a gold line that I like. I'm gonna go into my recently used, it should be in there. Mm, and now of course I can't find it. Maybe this was it. Okay, well, it's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for now. Um, but what I'm going to do, I feel like adding the gold border just kind of, um, gives it some separation between the box and the image. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate this and put another one down here at the bottom. All right, and now what I'm gonna do for the letters is we are gonna change this to a red that's within this image. And to do that, you're, you wanna make sure you select the text and then we're gonna go up here to document colors and we're gonna click the add a new color swatch. And then if you look at this little eyedropper, you can pick a color from the design. So I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select a red from his outfit and then I'm gonna add an outline. So once again, we have to select the text, go up to effects, and I'm gonna select outline. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna pick like a yellow color out of the image. And then you can change the thickness of the outline. So that's pretty much how I did that. I know the image looked a little bit different. I don't think I used this border before. Um, I think I had a different border, but I can't find the original one I had. But this is how, you know, I basically, this is how I created the image. You can just, you know, play around with it, create it how you want, but that's how I did everything within the image. And now 
like I said, the text kind of is separate from the border, or I'm sorry, the text is separate from the image. It kind of like pops on its own without it kind of meshing into the background image. Okay. And then I did the exact same thing for the Optimus Prime and I just put Levi B with the letter B. So now to download this, we're going to go up to share. We're going to go to download. We're not going to do a transparent background. So do not select that. We're going to do a PNG image and then you just hit download. Okay. Then it's going to download as a PNG image to your computer, and then I am printing from Silhouette Studio, okay? But you can print from wherever you print from. I just print from Silhouette Studio. Um, you print wherever you're comfortable printing from, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this image printed out, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, go to the heat press, and we're gonna press this together. All right, you guys, so I do have my image um, printed out. Now this is, the actual book bag here. So this cover part is Velcro. And the person that I ordered this from, they do have just like replacement covers. If let's say halfway through the year, your child decides they wanna change the image or whatever the case may be, you can order just covers if you wanna do a replacement cover, okay? So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, So what I'm gonna do is we are going to lint roll this cover really good. Now I do have my press set to 385 degrees and we're gonna press this for 60 seconds. But what I wanna do is get this lined up and I wanna make sure the full image is one here. Okay, so that feels pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and add two pieces of tape on each side just so that I don't get any ghosting when the um, thing pops up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and press this 385. So this bottom piece of paper that I have here is just some butcher paper. That is to protect my plate on the bottom or my mat that's on the bottom from any ink, you know, spilling over. Um, but yeah, this is the book bag. It is a pretty sturdy book bag. So you have two pockets on the side here for um, water bottles. And then it has a big zipper on the top here. And then when you open it up, it's got one pocket here. And then the rest is just a big open book bag. Um, so yeah, it is a pretty decent book bag. Like this is a pretty decent book bag. And these are the little Velcro strips. So like I said, if you wanted to switch out the cover, then you absolutely can. All you have to do is purchase more covers on the website. Again, check the website down below. It will be linked. But um, yeah, all you can, all you have to do is buy the covers if you want to switch out the cover. All right. Let's go ahead and remove. OMG, that looks so good. Y'all, look at this. It's kind of hot, just a little bit. I'm going to let this cool off, and then I'm going to show you guys because, yeah, I burnt it. I don't know if y'all saw my last video, but I burnt my finger, so I'm not touching this while it's hot. I'm going to let it cool down for a quick second, and then I'll come back and show you. All right, you guys, look at this book bag cover I cannot take it look how good that looks color is absolutely popping okay um but these are the velcro velcro strips here so all you do is just line it up on the book bag Okay, so 
So now these are the two. This one's a little crooked, but that's okay. These are the two book bags that I made for my babies. I got one more I got to make. Um, Xavier is my oldest and he wants baseball themed. So I got to make one more. But yeah, these came out so freaking cute. I can't take it. I cannot take it. I cannot take it. Look at these colors, you guys. I made this one for my youngest. Okay, these book bags came out so perfect. Everybody at his school is going to want one. <laughs> um, but guys, make sure you check the description box for everything that I use. It will be linked down below, okay? The ink, the printer, the paper, where I got the book bags from, the press, everything. It will be linked down below, okay? So definitely make sure you check the description box. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, bye, guys.